My name is Will Nader. I work at 17 Sunny Group Brand Director. I've been there for eight years and we're here with uh, Tyler Ball, the head of marketing at Activision. Um, Tyler, I think I just want to start by why don't you give a little background where you've worked and how you got to Activision and how long you've been there. Yeah, so I've been, you know, just a boy who's followed my passions throughout my career. So I worked in music, I worked in sneakers, I worked in tech, and finally now I'm working in video games and just really loving what I do every single day. And so uh, I've been with the brand for about two years working at Activision on Call of Duty. Awesome. Well, I know one big thing for Call of Duty is every year it's a new title, a new challenge. What's the biggest business priority this year? What, what's the biggest goal for you as a marketer this year with the new Call of Duty title? Yeah, so I mean, always we're trying to go bigger and bolder, but I think it's really about engaging our community and, and really embracing them and highlighting them to kind of facilitate the growth in the business and really kind of expanding on that community and what it looks like. Yeah, and I know we're here talking about fandom and you know, the funny thing is sports fandom's huge, but I'm not sure there's any fandom that's more ravenous and passionate than Call of Duty fans. You know, you haven't worked on it for three years for me, me working on it for a long time. They, they criticize, they compliment our work. Um, you know, one big thing is, is how, how do we keep it fresh year to year? Like what is, what is the goal this year to keep Call of Duty fresh knowing that we have to serve these fans that uh, are critical but loving at the same time? Yeah, so it's our 20th anniversary of Call of Duty. Um, and so that's a lot of years. And we've always sat at the crossroads of you know culture um, and gaming and so really figuring out how to elevate that every single year. And through the partnership with 72 and Sunny, you guys are, are those kind of, uh, you're taking all that insight and like expanding on it and bringing it to the market through these amazing campaigns. But really like, how are we tapping into what's happening right now? And then bringing that to life through, through our gaming uh, advertising. Yeah, and I know one other thing that you've done a great job of is uh, trying to, to modernize the brand, make it more youthful through design, and also some of the things you've done by pushing gameplay trailers. I'd love for you to talk a little bit, you know, knowing that entertainment is such a like high volume, can get same, same, what you've done recently with the Call of Duty font and also with the new season four trailer to make that stand out to our younger fans, especially like the TikTok audience. Yeah, so I don't think a lot of people know that, um, you know, Call of Duty has changed its word mark, changed its font just about every year, um, every time we launch a premium game. And so we've also expanded on how many platforms we're on. We have Warzone, we have mobile, we have CDL. So there's so many different ways to experience Call of Duty. And so the, the goal over here is really, how do we kind of uh, optimize our branding and to add a little bit more simplicity, um, consistency, and really turn this from a game to a mega franchise. And so we have a whole new brand rollout that's coming. And then on the trailer work that we've been doing and seasonal work, um, last, last season was season three, we brought in um, found footage. And so really kind of thinking and experimenting with new formats for creating a trailer and, and bringing kind of that real world situation to the trailers themselves. And then this season with the launch of Vondel, it's a brand new urban map. And so we really leaned into this artistic graffiti uh, element and, and how we brought that to life in a form called Stacked. And, and people are really, really liking the, the new graphic aesthetic for season four. Yeah, I mean, it's been awesome to see. It's like, it feels super fresh and different for a Call of Duty trailer. One other thing I know as we talk about fans and fandom uh, is involving the community. And as a, as a person on the agency side, you know, testing is a, is a bad word. Um, it's like, oh man, you're putting Crave in the testing. But you found a really interesting way to do that where I think it's been beneficial to our work and all the work you do, where it's not about just like getting people's opinions, but more about involving our, in the, involving our fans in the kind of like Crave process and learning from them. Love for you to talk a little bit about, about that, what you've kind of learned um, and maybe how, how you see that working moving forward. Yeah, so this year we started doing pre-testing for some of the work. So we shot it with you guys and then all of a sudden we, we put it into testing and asked our community what they thought about it. And it wasn't to judge the work, but it was actually to how do we make it better, right? So there were certain elements and I don't want to reveal any secrets about some of the new work coming out. But essentially they were highlighting some of the things that really struck a chord through the history, through the nostalgia of the brand. Um, and we really kind of plus that up in the work. And, and I think that's really to your credit and the team's credit to be able to embrace that feedback from the community and make the work better. And I, I think it's gonna perform really, really well. Yeah, it's always nice when you when you get love from the fans. They're like, this is awesome. I love this, do these three things. I'm gonna love it even more. And it's like a, it's like a cheat code to making great work. Um, one, one thing I think, uh, you know, more of a, a self-promotional plug, but I, you talked a little bit about the partnership and, and working with 72 and Sunny, and I'd love to know like what makes uh, working with 72 and Sunny different? I know you've worked with a lot of agencies, you've been in a lot of places. Uh, what have you really enjoyed about working with us? Well, so, I mean, 
I think Call of Duty has been working with 72 for 11 years. I worked with you before at Google. Um, and I think there's just an elevated um, craft when you work with 72 and Sunny, right? Like it's just, you know it's going to be better. You know it's going to be the highest quality. You know the, the innovation and the thinking, whether it's Warzone in Paradise, where we're doing something totally new on social um, and breaking formats, all the way to like the large scale live action productions, you, you know, tapping into culture, working with celebrities and in a way that only 72 can do. And, you know, you know, being here on the beach this week, we're talking a lot about optimism and stuff. And it's like, how do we just bring positivity to some of the work that we did? Last year we did Squad Up and that was all about bringing people together, right? Our community was about having fun. And I think that, that really highlights that optimism in our work. And so I think that kind of, you know, trickles over uh, in what we do. Yeah, and I know we got, you know, a high bar to live up to and hopefully I think we can continue that, and bring some of that optimism to launch this year as well. Um, I think last question for you, this is more just a fun one. I think like uh, we've done a lot of great work um, during your time, two and a half years at Activision. What are you most proud of at Activision? And it could be work we've done, but also work that you've done like on the side, not with us, just generally as a head of marketing at Activision. I, you know, Warzone and Paradise really struck a chord. Um, it was this whole concept around embracing like one in five people actually, you know, follow a travel influencer on Instagram. You brought in these influencers. We kind of hacked together um, or modified and brought them into the war themselves for, for a new map that was launching. And it was just so successful in the marketplace. And it was so different than anything I'd seen. We literally hacked Instagram. And I, I, that type of thinking really stood out to me. And it's you know gone on to win a lot of awards, but also really had a big impact on the business. Yeah, that was a fun one for sure. And I think like it's been fun winning all those awards. So <laughs> thank you, Tyler, for joining me on Sports Beach. You know, really appreciate it. Obviously, we've worked together for a couple of years now and I'm um, excited about all the work we're going to do together this year and the rest of this year and for everyone to see some of the new work we've got. So. Excited to continue the partnership. Thanks, Will. Thank you. Thank you.